Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Dota 2 video. And in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to perform the ultimate Storm Spirit Fountain Stack. As I promised from my last video, I'm gonna be teaching all of you how to perform this trick in public. But without further ado, let's get on to the video. The first thing you have to do is to make sure that you are level 18 and you have Bottle, Power Tread, Null Talisman, Orchid, and Bloodstone. The second thing you have to do is to secure yourself an Arcane Rune or a Regeneration Rune. The next thing you have to do is to position yourself like this. The next thing you have to know is the respawn spots. For the Radiant side, there are 5 respawn spots A, B, C, D, and E. If Dyer has one kill and there's one hero respawning from Radiant, that hero from Radiant will respawn at position A. That's because the Dyer has one kill. If the Dyer has three kills, the hero will respawn at position C. If the Dyer has six kills, that hero will respawn at position A because it refreshes after five kills. So if it's nine kills, it will be position D. In this scenario, I'm looking to zap the puck. We have 25 kills in total, so the Centaur will respawn at 25, Undy 24, Trend 23, Puck 22, which means spawn B. If you have an Arcane Rune, make sure to buy a Clarity and 3 sets of Mangoes. If you have a Regen Rune, make sure to buy a Clarity and 6 sets of Mangoes. If there are any enemies Korra killed in the game, you have to add that amount of Korra's killed into your kill count. So if you have 22 kills and 2 cores killed, that will be 24 kills in total. From the Radiant side, make sure to cast your zap when the enemy's spawn cooldown is between 9 to 8. Then make sure to TP at this spot. This will guarantee you a perfect fountain snipe. At the die side, it's the same thing. Position yourself like this. And then the spawn areas will be A, B, C, D, and E. Don't forget to add the Korra kills. From the die side, make sure to start zipping when enemy spawn cooldown is turning to 8. Do it now, do it now. <laughs> I fucking knew it. Hey, go in. You guys have 35 k That work for both them, and I don't see a way you guys are using it. Can win this game, easy game. Boy dead, boy dead. The next thing you need to know is the half map fountain snipe. And from this snipe, the enemies can't respawn at all. Just make sure you have a TP boot, one clarity, and three sets of mangoes. Make sure to position yourself at this exact spot. And this is an example for how you should do it. 
and make sure to zip 5 seconds before. <laughs> From the dire side, make sure to stand at this exact spot. Also, don't forget your clarity and three sets of mangoes. If the enemies have two heroes that are respawning at the same time, you can actually fountain snipe both of them. In this scenario, they will both spawn at 23 and 22, so I make sure to zap in between B and C. Oh my god! Oh. Hey, you want kill? Where did you kill them? You could also do this fountain snipe with a cheese. Just make sure you consume a clarity and have a 3 cents on mangoes. And that's all for the video. I hope after this video, all of you can do this fountain snipe in your public games. Thank you all so much for staying till the end of the video. And I'll see you guys on my next video.